right, guys. Dave and Texas here, and this video is about um, well, it's about a, a bunch of questions that I've been asked over the last several months that I've not been able to make a video or include in a video, and some of the questions I just forgot the answer. Right? <laughs> Sorry about that. So what this is going to be is going to be kind of a, a summary of all those questions you asked that I forgot to answer. Or that just you know just didn't fit inside a video uh, format for guitars. That's some personal questions or whatever. Now the first one is that uh, yes the uh, White Falcons finished. Look at the website. Sorry, look at the uh, YouTube channel, and you'll see it right there. It's all completely done, done, right? And that's the final tone that's going to come out of that thing. About eight uh, percent that of a real Gretsch. You follow me? And I guess the simple answer to that is is that the uh, fake one I've got is two-ply uh, laminate, and the real Electromatics as well as Gretsch's are three-ply. You know, sadly they used to be five-ply, which really made a hell of a heavy guitar, and a much sound nicer sounding one in my opinion. But uh, they've gone to three-ply for cost uh, issues, right? So make it affordable to everyone, especially the Electromatics, at nine ninety-nine, right? Anyway, so that's the uh, question about the Gretsch. That's the end of that, right? And, uh, oh, by the way, you're welcome. Uh, for all those people who sent thanks for finishing the Gretsch, to hear what it sounds like, you're very welcome. Uh, I was surprised it sounds as good as it did sound with those TV Jones on it. Okay, next I had uh, a couple of dozen, almost 30 people that uh, had written in to me over the last two months asking me uh, to say specific words on uh, my videos, like a list of them. Uh, some asked me to say y'all, some asked me to say business, some asked me to say oil, right? There's all kinds of different silly things I think is that they wanted to either hear my accent or make fun of me, one or the other. It's like, listen to this hillbilly, Margaret. <laughs> How awful, he's so uncouth. <laughs> Some of my friends in England are just laughing their ass off. Do you hear him say y'all? <laughs> Did you hear him say y'all? <laughs> and these are Gibson pickups on the uh, fake ES355 after all. I took it apart and somebody asked me, what did you end up putting on there after all the trouble I went through with this guitar? They're Gibsons, okay? So, very nice, very well working pickups, I think, for the money. Uh, about a hundred and a half a piece. Okay, so that answers that question. I answered the question about the words. Now I'm not going to go through the entire list because there's a bunch of words on there that just it's just silly. So be happy with uh, y'all, <laughs> as in uh, oh yeah, fixing. Somebody asked a bunch of times. A bunch of people asked the word fixing. Now guys, we use that in Texas as a as a uh, um, a catch-all type of phrase. Like I'm fixing to go to the store. As in, I'm about to go to the store. Fixing. I'm fixing to get that fixed. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. You have it. I hope you're happy. Okay? Now, the next thing we come down to is the EMS issue. Oh, boy. What fun this is going to be. Right? <clears throat> now, according to two of my sellers, not every one of them, two of them, right? They have written to me via their websites, right, their selling websites, being Trade Tang and being AliExpress, stating that they received notice from EMS that they will no longer guarantee or will ensure fake guitars going into the United States from confiscation. Follow me? In other words, if it gets confiscated and it's been sent by EMS, uh, someone's out that money. Okay, and more than likely it's the seller because that's the way it works in this life. You don't deliver the goods, you don't get paid for them, right? Unless you sign some type of uh, stupid uh, release form saying it's okay, which that would be really dumb to do. But uh, now they've gone to a company called China Air Post, right? Post Parcel. 
And the problem with that is, is that it is slow as Christmas. And I mean slow, slow. You think EMS is slow? This is even worse by far. Even on the websites that discuss it and talk about it, they say it's the worst way to send a package from China. Because a package that normally takes 10 to 15 days by EMS is going to take you 60 days to 90 days via China Post. And that's just the way it works, guys. They own three jet airplanes they use for cargo planes. This is what I've been told again. I don't know for sure because I didn't look it up. They own three jet cargo planes that they fill up uh, via their, uh, you know, filling bins, right? Which people, you know, lease bins and fill them up with their goods to send over to, you know, the United States and South America, Europe, wherever. And if there's room in one of those bins, they'll place your guitar in it. If there's room. So what it says on your uh, what your tracking uh, uh, bill of lading says, waiting for space available. <laughs> of course, many times I put on there, what are you going to do, put on the luggage rack or what, you know? Yes, uh, uh, Hop Singh, throw that guitar up there on the luggage rack and strap it down. We'll get it there in one piece or pieces. <laughs> oh, can you imagine that? Strapping shit on top of a plane? <laughs> Here comes Hillbilly 747. Yeah! <laughs> oh, my God. Here comes Hillbilly 747. Rolling down the bend. <laughs> I ain't seen such shit since I don't know when, but it's China Air Post. And here they go again. Screwing up my delivery. Same as I, just the same as yours. <laughs> oh, God, sorry, guys. Oh, God, that makes me mad. Mine was, uh, well, one of mine was shipped out, the earliest was shipped out, sorry, the longest waiting was shipped via China Air Post Parcel Punks uh, on the 21st of, uh, what was it, June? Yeah. <laughs> Today is July 10th, and it's still sitting there. Damn it. And yes, it doesn't do you no good to try to write to them because their they're freaking website's messed up. You hit customer, great customer survey, right? It says, and I'm not kidding. It says that great customer survey. As in, send them a message, right, or contact us, and it doesn't work. It goes to a page being not found or, or server not available, blah, blah, blah. It never works. So that's what they think of your great customer survey or your, or your email, you know, trying to say, where the hell is my guitar, guys? Come on, put it on the luggage rack. <laughs> put it behind Hopsing's seat or something. Damn, I want my guitar, as well as the other ones. Now, <clears throat> China Air Post does not guarantee that uh, it won't be confiscated, right? Just, they're the only ones who will take the darn things now. And it's part of the crackdown I've been talking about all along, right? It's happening, guys. It was true all along. wasn't lying. wasn't uh, stretching the truth any. It's happening. It's happening even worse now. And I've got plenty of people writing in telling me, yeah, they've been informed. There's going to come in China Post. And their seller's lying to them, telling them, Oh, it's going to take 10 to 15 days. Well, mine told me the same thing, but what he's really meaning was it takes 10 to 15 days to get there to China Post's uh, holding bin, damn it. And there are 60 days to deliver it, right? That's the only guarantee is that it'll be out in 60 days or you get your money back. Gee, thanks Lowe's. Wish you had told me that before I bought it. <laughs> See, EMS <clears throat> doesn't have a real problem with us because we're in the 7 uh, zip code area, while the 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6s, those are routed through areas that uh, they confiscate these guitars, left and right, okay? So, that's the whole nine yards on EMS and China Air Post. If it's going China Air Post, guys, it's going to take you a long time to get that guitar and just wait and wait and wait for it. Okay, next on the uh, guitar I'm waiting for is the one I promised to let y'all see next is the Chinese version of the ES339 Gibson, right? Similar to the one that I've got, the ES339 Ultra Epiphone. I was going to do a direct comparison to those because when I was shown one back when they first came out, the measurements were so off it was just laughable. 
the neck was two inches too short. The the body was inch and a half too thin. It's like Jesus Christ, this thing this thing is nowhere near the same measurements as all the other guitars are, such as Les Pauls are dead nut the same as a, as as a Gibson Les Paul. You know, same exact measurements, same weight, for a matter of fact. You know, when they use the same woods, but uh, not this ES three three nine from China. It was just way off the scale when I first saw it. Now <clears throat> that was several months ago. And since that time, uh, when I made the purchase, they said that's been corrected. So we'll wait and we'll see. I'm supposed to receive one with a solid neck, uh, no scarf joint, no heel joint, and uh, um, nibs over the end of the uh, uh, frets. So we'll see what we see. Okay? And uh, my seller finally gave up returning my messages asking where the heck my guitar is, because that's all I would say. Where is my guitar? Where is my guitar? Where is my guitar? hoping he'd get off his dead ass and contact China Air Post and ask them, well, if it's not going today, when is it going to go out? At least give us a guesstimate when you're going to send it, not just it's going to go sooner or later. What good does that do? What kind of service is that? Well, uh, we're going to operate on your heart sooner or later. Uh, we'll let you know just before you die. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, something else has come up. Yes, I'm back to smoking cigarettes, unfortunately. Okay, and I'll probably cut this so I won't ever see this. All right. Uh, what else? What else are you guys asking about all the time? Uh, oh, yeah, you're asking about the uh, SG Diablo. Okay. Well, uh, not more than three months ago, <clears throat> I had ordered and paid for that guitar uh, with a uh, very uh, strictly written uh, purchase order through my company. And uh, it stated that if this thing was late in delivery, uh, more than 10 days, that uh, I would get a full refund with no questions asked. That's just it. Full refund. No interference with uh, the website or the seller. And that was agreed upon by the seller because they want my business. This particular seller knows how many guitars I order in a year, as well as <clears throat> how I present them, right? So, he takes it to his uh, 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 manufacturer, since he's not one, claims he is, but of course he's not, he's just a reseller, and uh, he takes the design to them, because I sent him pictures and all that kind of good stuff, and uh, I said, all right, this is exactly what I want, see what you can come up with. Well, he came up with the same tired old design they've had for years, the big fat uh, SG Diablo that has no body carvings whatsoever in it, just, just stupid looking. It's like, what a waste of time and effort. All he did was grab one that he already had and said, here it is, and hoped I'd take it. Of course I wouldn't, and turned it down. But a couple of days ago, I get a new email from him, right, stating, look what I have here. Oh, boy. I've got the SG Diablo in that same deep, dark, uh, fire engine red metallic color that you want with the deep body carvings on it. And sure as shit, there it was. Uh, and I know it wasn't Photoshop because it has the, uh, what you call it, the uh, uh, rectangular uh, fret markers all the way up to the first fret as a custom as I requested. One thing I didn't uh, get that I requested would, be, would, would that be Mother of Pearl and the Gibson logo be made of Mother of Pearl, not just painted on there in gold like the real one is. Uh, and we went back and forth and back and forth on that of being Mother of Pearl and come to find out that uh, it is a legal issue to import Mother of Pearl into the United States from other countries. And the United States cannot ship out any Mother of Pearl anything. So, for example, if you bought Mother of Pearl to uh, modify this guitar here and put it into the fret markers, uh, you could not ship that outside the United States because it's a legal no-no. Okay? And that's just the way it is. Those, why? I have no idea. It's just the rules. So, it could be very well that the makers of this guitar, the SG Diablo, that I wanted in Mother of Pearl markers, they knew that it wouldn't get past customs with that Mother of Pearl inlay. Okie dokie. And something else to consider is that Pearloid, which is a plastic that emulates uh, Mother of Pearl, simulates it, that's been used on Gibsons for a number of years to avoid the, the high cost of mother of pearl inlays for the uh, uh, fret markers. So, believe it or not, a lot of those uh, expensive guitars you look at from Gibson, that's that's pearloid. That's not really a mother of pearl. 
as well as they have plastic uh, uh, nuts on them rather than bone. Again, in case of cost and time and effort and wear and uh, uh, other issues when they come to using bone or mother of pearl. Uh, what else? Uh, of course, even Gibson can't ship those out of the country with mother of pearl on them. It's against the rules. So then you don't get mother of pearl on yours here either because that would mean making some for this country and some for the other, and that's not the way you know mass manufacturing is work, right? I want you to hear this guitar. That is a hell of a Gibson pickup, don't you think? And well worth the money to make this thing sound more like a real one. Now, uh, again, let's go backwards a little bit on the white Gretsch Faker Rooney. Uh, it's 80% of the sound of a uh, Gretsch, not even 90% sounding like a Gretsch. But it does have that big fat jazz box tone to it because, uh, you know, it's got the TV Jones pickups in it. And uh, a few other things uh, that came up all the time is that, no, I don't sell these guitars. Uh, if you don't see them in the uh, racks behind me or me playing one, uh, I put it in storage because new ones are coming in and as you all know Sugar Bridges limits, limits me to 10 guitars at a time in my office to avoid all the mess and the clutter of like 90 guitars laying around everywhere underfoot which she friggin hates so she limits me to 10 so a new one comes in and an old one goes out that's just the way it's gotta work right now uh, also with these older guitars uh, that I've got laying around. Uh, some are going to storage here soon. And uh, the reason I kept them around to begin with, because I always get these oddball questions about one now and then. And I try to answer them just in writing, but then again, some people ask, and it has to be you know played for y'all. And uh, I've been asked about the Rickenbackers, uh, about them again by several, several people. Uh, maybe two or three dozen, four or five dozen people have asked me about them. Uh, if I would record them again using my better gear than what I had when I first recorded them so they can hear what they sound like better. They can, well, they're not going to sound much better, but uh, I'm willing to do that, guys. If you really want it done, uh, I'll put them both together, though, and I'll do just a couple of five-minute videos on those, and that'll be that. And then but pretty much so they're going to go to storage. So, uh, any particular questions about the 12-string Rick and the 6-string Rick? Please let me know now and forever hold your peace. <laughs> or hold your guitar, one or the other. <laughs> Ooh, I love the tone of these pickups. Nice jazzy sound, right? Nice pickups. Uh, some of you, have, some of you have all been asking about the cost of these modifications being so high, such as the Gretsch was, oh, fine, finished and done around thousand dollars if I had paid for the guitar. Yes, it's expensive, guys, and that's my whole point. You can spend up to nine hundred ninety-nine dollars on these guitars, modifying them, and if you stop and think about it, wait a minute, for that kind of money, from nine or from one thousand twelve hundred dollars, you can buy a custom built Les Paul Studio custom per your designs your specs right I want this I want that there it is it's 1200 bucks as compared to a fake that you can never can sell again everyone will know it's a fake if they watch my videos at least and uh, basically you put money in something you'll never get back out of again of course you still have the parts you can sell because you know they're still worth it or put them in a good guitar but uh, why would you do that if you can actually buy a Les Paul 1960s tribute that's a dressed up studio, very nice looking tribute Les Paul for $9.99. Duh! You'd be stupid to uh, spend the money. So these videos are all about, you know, what these things cost when they're finally finished because I guarantee you they don't sound good right out of the box, okay? You've got to modify them. You've got to put new pickups. you got to put new tuners, new caps, new pots. Everything goes new on these guitars. Otherwise, they don't sound for shit. You got me? Anyway, those are some of the questions. I'm trying to round them all up and get them all finished for y'all. And uh, any more of those, I'll just try to answer them the same way, all in one group when I get a chance to do so. So, Dave in Texas, have a good one. Bye.